Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here again. In this video I'm going to touch on a few of the tips and tricks for those of you who want to begin to refill Canon cartridges. These particular cards are for the Canon Pixma Pro 100. They are CLI 42. Now CLI 42's are identical to the CLI 8's except for the chip. Just keep that in mind. Now why would you want to refill your Canon cartridges? Well, it's really the best way to go and the most reliable method to feed ink to your Canon printhead, which is very finicky. If you remember, it's a thermal head and you must provide it with a full continuous flow of ink. Otherwise, it'll overheat and basically burn up and die on you. Okay, so say for instance, you really cannot afford OEM inks. They are rather costly, although it is the best way to go. And now you want to try third-party inks. Now PrecisionColors.com provides a complete refilling option for the Canon Pro 100 and the CLI 42 carts. Basically you have to modify the carts to allow you to insert a plug where the ball used to be, the factory refill ball. And I show you that method in an earlier video. So it's quite simple. Now once you have that modification performed all you have to do is when a cart hits low you reset it and you add ink to the wet reservoir how does the driver know when the cart reaches low basically low means that the wet or the liquid reservoir has gone dry there is an optical prism at the bottom of the reservoir that as long as there's liquid in it it refracts light a certain way but once the liquid is gone the refraction angle changes and that trips that sensor in your printer and tells it that say for instance in this case that black might be low you'll get the little low warning at that point I recommend that you refill that card and basically you just add ink until it reaches near the top replug it of course you have already have reset it and reinsert the card now you may want to get yourself a second full set of cards so that you have a full set available at all times. One goes low, you remove that card and refill the whole shebang with a brand new set of reset and topped off cards. That way you only create or generate one purge cycle, in other words one ink purge. Every time you change one single card you will generate a full purge cycle and waste a lot of inks. If you have eight cards like the Pixma Pro 100 has, every time you change one of those cards, and believe me, you're going to be changing cards all the time, as there's always going to be one getting to the low point. Now, some people might say, yeah, but I want to wait until my card is actually empty. Well, here's what happens and why you should not do that. The sponge on a Canon card is not as simple as you might imagine. It is actually quite a feat of engineering. It is actually a dual layer of a synthetic fiber material. The lower layer is a different density than the upper layer. And you might be able to see that there is actually a difference. And there's a demarcation line right here, right about midpoint. So the ink flows from the left through a very small orifice at the bottom it saturates the lower portion of the sponge and that is from where the printer then draws its ink the upper portion of the sponge as you can see is not fully saturated and that allows for air infiltration to go through from the inlet port which is on the top and that that whole system flows like a siphoning system and if you disrupt that by allowing the sponge to start dropping ink. In other words, if you let this side go dry, then the cart has no other option than to start releasing ink from the sponge. While you still have ink on the liquid side, the condition or the liquid saturation of the sponge or ink saturation of the sponge pretty much remains constant because as you draw ink out, new ink is being drawn from the liquid reservoir to replace the ink that you are using. So you, you basically remain in perfect balance. Once this goes dry and you start to then use, physically actually use the ink from the sponge, you're actually going to reduce the volume of ink or the saturation and that will cause problems when you refill. The sponge may not absorb ink properly. So what you want to do is never let that sponge 
or never let the liquid reservoir go dry. In other words, catch it when it's almost dry before you start to actually physically remove ink from the sponge. All right, that will make things so much easier. The reason people have feed problems, ink starvation, you know, they complain that the sponge is not absorbing ink properly. It does not look like it did when it was a virgin OEM card. Now I try to refill it and there are some spots that I see that are not absorbing ink. That is all due to that very basic reason. You'll also produce foaming. In other words, air will start getting into that lower region and you do not want to do that. If air bubbles get in there, they're very, very difficult to displace. And so that lower sponge which needs to basically remain at a certain level of saturation will not be able to reach that. And you may end up starving your head or your print head of ink. So remember, I, I will leave you with these messages. Do not let this portion of the cart go dry. As soon as it gets to the low point, remove that whole set, set them aside, insert a new set that you have already pre-filled and pre-reset, and continue on printing. You will have one single perch cycle instead of eight during the use of a complete set of inks. And that's what will happen if you if you just exchange one card at a time. Okay, so if you're gonna stick with OEM cards, by all means, let them run dry, by all means, because you're gonna be tossing them out anyway, or you're gonna be taking them to a recycler such as Staples. Or sell them to me, I'll buy them from you. No, not a problem. All right, so again, that's all you have to keep in mind. Do not let this wet reservoir or liquid reservoir go dry. Even if it reaches the bottom, just at that point, you'll get that warning. At that point, immediately fill and reset your carts and you are good to go. If you do that, you will never have that problem of ink not being absorbed properly into the sponge. If you do not do that, you will have problems. And a lot of people have those problems and they just cannot figure out why. And again, it's not something that is commonly known. So, you know, if you do a lot of refilling, you kind of learn these little tricks. And so that's one of the main ones. If you're gonna go the route of refilling your Canon and with the beautiful new printers that we have now, especially the Pro 100, which I absolutely adore, that's the only way to go, okay? So I have been refilling my complete two sets, God knows, maybe 20 plus times already. Not once have I had a flow problem. Every one of them has worked perfectly, okay? All right, so if you like this, like it. Please share, please subscribe. So until the next time, happy printing. Bye-bye, peace.